Hey there, everybody. Happy Friday. I am Afefe with Touched by Tarot and Beyond. If you're new to my channel, you just landed here. I'm so glad to have you. Thanks for being here. I hope you like what you see. Stick around, hit that like and subscribe button. And of course, always, I have to acknowledge my existing subscribers, especially new ones too. Uh, thank you so much for being here with me. I appreciate it. I am a tarot and oracle reader. And I also have a background in journalism. So my readings, you know, I love to go to spirit, but we go to spirit based on, you know, a little research into the facts, try to see what's going on, especially now in this age of misinformation, right? And disinformation. So got our, our candle lit for spirit. And uh, let's get a little, many of you ask, you see me, I prepare my space, I prepare my energy um, whenever I sit down to do a reading. So this is sweet rose oil, many of you ask, uh, sweet rose spray, I should say, not oil. But anything, if you're a reader, or even if you're just doing your meditations, anything that lightens up your space, lightens up your energy. Let me, because I got a little coffee on the side. Don't, I don't want to drink it. I'll smell it, but I don't want to drink it. Um, but that helps uh, as well. So we got a lot to look at today, you all. Our girl, Tanya Chuckin, is not playing. Once again, we've been talking about, many of us have been talking about these October surprises, right? Many astrologers, etc., were telling us October was going to be a month to look out for. And man, oh man, has it been that. Uh, also want to say, I just looked out the window, a little rain, it reminded me, thank you so much. I am in Florida, but I'm on the east side, uh, east coast, so really didn't get um, impacted majorly by Hurricane Helene. Um, I mean, or, or well, or Helene, when that happened, Helene, or Milton, thank goodness. But we, I, you know, our continued prayers for so many people who were definitely horribly impacted. And on that topic, we're going to look at the GOP apparently trying to, uh, and Mike Johnson apparently trying to hold up additional funding that's been requested by the Democrats in Congress to help alleviate this. We still have Georgia recovering, certainly North Carolina recovering, and now uh, from Helene, and now we have the state of Florida with Milton. So uh, we're going to get to that in a moment, but I want to lead off with our girl Tanya Chuckin has uh, apparently issued an order yesterday, Thursday, taping this on Friday morning, allowing the documents that were attached to that latest Jack Smith filing, that bombshell filing where he laid it out step by step. That's why the thing was, uh, well, almost 180 pages. But the appendix attached to it was what was wait waiting for the word for Chuck in to give the thumbs up to go ahead and release those documents. And she has said yes. Trump's attorneys are losing their minds. As usual, Trump's losing his mind because just as we saw so much information revealed in um, in black and white quotes, unquotes of these uh, calls and texts and things that were going on during the Jan 6 situation before and during the Jan 6 uh, insurrection. So now we've got this appendix, which apparently has got even more evidence that is about to be released. You all, we're talking perhaps even, we're going to go to spirit and see what to expect, but we're talking um, notes from Mike Pence in his con various conversations with 45 during that time. Uh, we're talking perhaps uh, some, some notes from the Jan 6 committee as they were preparing to, you know, to do their thing bringing forth all of those witnesses, etc. So, ooh, they are hot. Tanya Chuckin has given the uh, uh, 45's team, I think it's seven days. She put a stay on the order. So she said, yes, this information is going to be released. But she put a stay on it for seven days so that they can prepare for their litigation response, whatever that's going to be, their technical response to... Um, to the initial filing that was done by Jack Smith. Was it last week or week before? That's not due until November 7th. So we'll see if they come in ahead of time. But the point, you know, as we can all see and know, the fact that all of this is happening pretty much concurrently with the presidential election. Ooh, we, you all. Ooh, we. So I want to take a look. Spirit, the... Evidence that we will see that that Tanya, Judge Ch Tanya Chuckin has 
issued the order saying that the appendix can be, the redacted appendix, still got to um, protect the IDs of the people that he's referring to, similar to what many of us saw in that initial briefing. But you can do one plus one equals two. Like you can, you know, you look at what's being said and you can pretty much tell who it was. So we'll see what that's about. Spirit. Are these revelations, please give us some, some insight into these new revelations, this new evidence that's going to be, um, that's going to be released. Will it be, ooh, catastrophic to 45 in that case? Page of Pentacles. It's dense, it's thick, and it is new. I love that this just came as a page on the bottom of the deck because pages are new energy. So this is not the same old rehashed stuff that most of us already knew. Um, it This is going to be in-depth, like stuff that we're going to... Spirit, are we going to see Mike Pence's notes <clears throat> from his conversations with Donald Trump? Is this going to include Mike Pence's notes? Three of Pentacles. So not just his notes, but that's for starters, Spirit is saying. Three of Pentacles is work. It is physical evidence that we will see. And notice this is all coming in Pentacles. So that, that's like the weight of this, the actual tangible, irrefutable. What we see is what we see, and that's what happened. Spirit, is this Mike Pence? Seven of Wands. Um... You know, that this feels a lot like the the people who are connected to, because again, we're going to be able, people are going to be able to connect the dots and know who this is coming from. Say, for instance, if these are, in fact, Mike Pence's notes, if these are, in fact, notes from the, some of the members of the Jan 6 committee, that's it. It's, um, it's a principal take that that Chuckin has taken as the judge overseeing this case and Jack Smith putting it forth to say, Seven of Wands is a card of bravery. It's a card of stand your ground. It's a card of, we said these things happened and boom, here you have it to prove that this happened. We weren't just talking smack all this time. This wasn't just about a hit job on 45. This was based on a, a some just incredible amount of evidence that now is going to come forth. Spirit, how will the public respond? How will how will the public at large respond to this revelation? The magician. Mm, 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 mm. Because this is an energy of um, in a certain sense, we think about it just as magic, as what you can create, as what can be created. But the magician feels like it, this is turning a corner, you all. This is setting things up clarity with the four of swords. Exactly. For many uh, who are still holding out and have still been claiming beyond belief that this is all made up, the evidence and the realization, the clarity, four of swords, the clarity that's going to come from having this these new documents released to the public is just irrefutable. It's just irrefutable. And and it's going to, Knight of Swords, everybody's going to be buzzing about it. You know we're going we're gonna to get into it and talk about it as well once it's released. So she issued the order yesterday, seven days from yesterday. So I guess this will be sort of late, mid to late next week before we see it. Spirit, will this cost some votes? Are, are some of the... Some of the voters, hardcore Trump voters, they got a decision to make. Two of pentacles. They got a decision to make. And you know what this also feels like, you are? A, a more split tickets. There will be conservatives who vote for Harris at the top of the ticket because of these revelations that are coming out and going to come out. That They just, they cannot. They cannot justify it with 45 any longer, but in terms of state races, and we're going to look at those in the next couple of weeks as well, um, some of those are going to be sticky. But this is, you know, they may vote for her at the top of the ticket, you know, just close their eyes, hold their nose and do what they got to do and vote for her at the top of the ticket, but still down ballot, they would support their conservative candidates in their respective states. Am I right about that, Spirit? Is that what we're seeing? Page of Swords, yes. 
That is the way that they will be casting their votes um, and new. Remember, again, pages are new energy. So this feels like a people are going to have to reconfigure like they're going to be studying those ballots and really paying attention to to how they cast their votes Two of swords things coming to light that they did not want to see they did not want to see it but at a certain point it's so incredibly um it's so incredibly powerful and the ace of swords notice all of these swords that are coming up you all page of swords ace of swords uh two of swords the decisions and the choices that are being made these are conversations that are being had within um, within a lot of political circles and also I feel like this is even smaller like people at the kitchen table among their families conservatives among their families and friends who are saying what the heck are we gonna do because at this point you've got you know viable people going back to the example of a Mike Pence in his notes this is what he now we know for sure what was going on behind the scenes? Remember the the first motion said that that while the uh, riots were happening, forty five was sitting at a table by himself because everybody else got disgusted, frustrated, afraid, left the room, left him by himself watching TV. But now we're going to see some more backdrop, some backdrop, some more context to that, and the ten of wands. It's this is. Ooh, this is so heavy. Ten of Wands is a burden beyond burden. And this, I also feel, this isn't even just 45. This is 45's legal team. Because how in the heck do you have this much evidence? We're talking tons of evidence that's coming out. And this is just what's being released now. Can you imagine also everything involved in the trial? Whenever that takes place, right? If it takes place, uh, we'll see, you know, if he, how long he lasts. There are many readers who seem to think that, that that's in question as well. How long can 45 even last? But the crushing, the crushing weight of this evidence is going to be so insurmountable. And that's why they've been fighting like pit bulls, uh, Trump's defense team fighting like pit bulls all along to get all of those cases against him um, delayed. And they've had a lot of success with that. But now, once once Chuckin was given the green light by the Supreme Court after they issued that ruling in, in July, the immunity ruling, but once she was given the green light and Jack Smith knew that was the deal, he has come back with, I mean, he's pulled out everything but the kitchen sink. And we might even need to check for some faucets in there because some of the kitchen sink might be in there. This is going to be crushing, crushing on his defense team. So that's something to look, look forward to. Keep our eyes peeled and see what actually comes out for that. All right. Second thing I want to look at. So apparently, um, Democratic uh, uh, Congress people have, they issued a letter to Mike Johnson and said, listen, based on these back-to-back, -back, you know, first Helene and then Milton, three states really, really hit hard, Georgia, North Carolina, and now Florida, uh, we're going to need some extra funding. We know, all, we've heard all of the scandals that, that 45 and company have been putting out, you know, disinformation, misinformation, Elon Musk now having jumped into the fray and, and you know, just doing everything he can on his platform. Uh, so be very, very careful. I know we already are, but, but we need to be even more careful to the extent that we're using X as a source of information, like really, really filter what we're getting because he's also, Musk is all in both feet, 10 toes down, um, spreading these lies and misinformation as well. At the end of the day, we saw earlier this week that incredible uh, group conference that was, we had um, the heads of FEMA, President Biden, Vice President Kamala Harris, like everybody who was anybody connected with this saying, we are on top of this. We do have people on the ground. We do have funding. We are not going to abandon the American people who've been impacted by these storms. So, but it's going to take more money. And it's going to take, you know, this is going to be a very, very long process. So the Dems got together and said, Mike, yo, we're going to need some more money. We need to call a special session of Congress together 
and and get something on the floor get it popping get something going here and mike johnson is like mm, can't hear you can't hear you i think that's gonna backfire and i want to take a look let's go to spirit and see spirit will congress approve more funding for fema and for help for the states that have been devastated by these back-to-back -back hurricanes will uh mike johnson's hand be forced because we know the one, just like Trump did with you, funding for Ukraine, and he pushed a Mike Johnson's hand and tried to delay it as long as possible because it could be in his favor. He's trying to do the same thing, Spirit is saying, in relation to the election. If people go into the election, you know, especially voters in those states, Florida, North Carolina, and Georgia, that's going to be real. His 45's idea is to make sure that it's all a mess and there is no additional funding. And so we want to see, is Mike Johnson going to call a session? Will Congress approve additional funding for help? Queen of Swords. Mm, that feels like Kamala. I either pull her as the Queen of Swords, she's a Libra, air sign, or I often pull her as the Empress as well. But this, and this also feels like, I don't know why AOC just came to my mind. Um, but, but there is this element of, we're going to hear people calling Mike Johnson out. If he is, if he continues to delay calling a, a congressional session together specifically to approve more funding, King of Wands. Mm. Hmm. Who is that spirit? Is that Mike Johnson? Death. He is so afraid of getting kicked out. Ooh, he is so afraid of getting kicked out, you all. He feels like he is watch. He feels like he is watching a clock. He is. He is just about in the high priestess. Mm-hmm. Because the high priestess is an energy where, um, very often, depending on certain readings, it can be where there are secrets, where there are things you can see and things you cannot see, and they cause more. They are cause for more investigation. He is. Is this him secretly talking to Trump to try and uh, Mike Johnson talking to Trump to see if what 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 he can do, how much leeway he has, and if he can somehow find a way. Uh huh. Five of uh five of swords. This is, he feels once again caught between, Mike Johnson, caught between that rock and a hard place. Well, on the one hand, he understands that down ballot, thank you, spirit, because down ballot, if, if GOP folks that are up for these tight races, Texas, Ted Cruz at all, right? If, if this funding does not go through and people feel like they are, they are not being responded to and it's the GOP's fault. Okay. Will Mike Johnson do what do what he has to do to, to work and get this funding through? Nine of Pentacles. Yes, yes, you are. That's a that's material gain, and I feel like that's the money coming through. Yes, it's going to stress him out. But I think what's going to happen is he's got he's definitely got a forty five in his ear saying, we don't want this to happen. We want to continue this chaos. We want to keep people in a state of fear and, and uncertainty about whether they're going to get the help that they need during this time. So that's him getting in Johnson's ear on one hand, but Johnson's got his other folk on the, on the other hand who could revolt and, and kick him up out of there. But also, once Harris you know, wins, then, then he knows his days are numbered anyway. And he is very aware, thank you, Spirit, he is extremely aware of how things are going and shifting in her favor. So there's a part of him. He's not someone to just throw in the towel and say, you know what, my time is limited anyway. Let me just go ahead and do the right thing. Um, but he wants to, there's the moon. Now, we had that high priestess. Both of these cards are very much, um, can very often come up when there are secrets, when there are things hidden. The moon at night, right? What are what, what is not seen or what light is being shed on, what we need to see. I also feel like there's a timing element here. The next, is it the full moon that's coming up October 17th? Expect some, expect some, um, some movement around that. 
Is that what I'm saying, Spirit? Please confirm. Is there some movement around that? Knight of Pentacles. Yes. He's going to delay it so that he can continue to show his, you know, his fealty uh, to, to Trump. But he's also recognizing he has to get this funding together because justice. There's Lady Justice. Mm-hmm. Right? Because this will backfire. People will understand. They've they've heard they've seen the news. They've they've heard, you know, they've heard President Biden, Kamala Harris, the leaders of FEMA, all of these other the military personnel, all of the, the National Guard, everybody who's been on the ground helping out in every way possible. So the idea that that no oh guess what? The people you really saw there with, with shovels and cranes and money and, and helping you get you know, you're just imagining things, it's not gonna fly. It's not gonna fly. So Mike Johnson is gonna have to um he's gonna as usual drag his feet instead of standing up and and doing the right thing. He's gonna drag his feet so that he can appeal to both sides. I listen to you, but you know, GOP uh, uh, folks, you know, in Congress pushed my hand. I couldn't help it because they are up for election and I didn't want to tip the scales. Blah, blah, blah. The, there will be funding. There will be funding, you all. All right. And the last thing I wanted to look at today is Trump's out of money. Trump or running out of money real, real, real fast. And he is losing his mind over the fact that we understand now Kamala Harris has raised a record breaking, historic one billion with a B uh, in the 80 something days that that since Biden handed over the reins. One billion dollars. And I read some articles uh, yesterday that said the while he is certainly getting money, we've got um Elon Musk pouring millions into some pack that's supposed to be trying to get out the vote for Trump. But so his his big ticket donors are definitely stepping up and doing everything to continue. That's the only way he's managed to keep going. But his his quote unquote MAGA grassroots base, they are like, we are tired of hearing from you. I saw a, te uh, a, a response from one of his supporters yesterday. I can't remember what outlet it was, but she said, I am tired of the texts all day long. Like I have already given what I could. I think she said something like eight or nine times. I don't have any more to give, right? She was like, I'm on a fixed income. I don't have any more. And I'm tired of the texts. It's starting to piss me off now. So his money is drying up. His money's drying up fast. Now, having said that, then we hear that Melania is now in charge, has come out, and she's got a little charity scandal going on. Because just as she came out and started selling these uh, Christmas ornaments when she don't give a F about Christmas, quote unquote, we know that she said that. That was her attitude back when she was in the White House as the First Lady. Mm. Uh, so she's got this, this, uh, her websites, I think there are two of them, MelaniaTrump.com and USMemorabilia.com. So these are two websites that you can get her, her book, her merch, etc. But she's saying, she's promoting it to say that the proceeds, you know, the donations that are made there are to help foster children and foster communities. But come to find out, you know, when you have organizations that do that, usually there's a link or some sort of sponsorship, something that shows, in fact, that these charitable charitable organizations are, in fact, connected to these websites. Ain't nothing there. Ain't nothing there. So I'm asking Spirit, like, is Melania about to get in some trouble here? Because she is literally taking these donations under a pretext that so far doesn't look like it exists. Everything that I say in these videos, of course, for entertainment purposes only, I got to I got to say it right. All right. So is Melania Trump headed for trouble? Is this really going to is her so-called charity efforts? Is she, she going to wind up um, investigated for fraud? Is Melania Trump going to wind up investigated for fraud? Is Melania Trump going to wind up investigated for fraud? Melania Trump. Is she going to wind up investigated, being investigated for fraud, taking money supposedly for charitable purposes when in fact it's just grifting? Is she going to get investigated for fraud? King of Cups. Ooh, that's Biden. I always get that for Biden. 
Now he's got some time and you know everything that we know he knew it he knew it a week ago right he he gets his briefings he knew it a week ago and his people knew it is he going to is he going to let the doj look at her we have the six of swords so so nothing right away they're going to let give her you know the old saying give him a, give you enough rope to to and the four of cups and the moon so it will something that's being she thinks is being done undercover that will come to light and the king of pentacles that's not him i think that's somebody who's helping her and death that's another sign from biden uh because biden is a scorpio you all before joe biden leads leaves office um i don't know that we will see a full-fledged ten of wands okay Got it. It's a, okay. Right now, there is, and the nine of wands. All right. It won't happen right away because right now there are so many irons in the fire. And what I'm hearing is post-election, especially because this is, this is, um, I'm seeing Joe Biden's energy here so strongly. Post-election, there's going to be, we already know, there's, it's going to be a mess. Get ourselves together. Get get look, get keep our spray on hand, our incense, whatever we got to do to keep our heads right. Because there's gonna they're gonna contest it. There're gonna be issues. Blah blah blah. Uh, so between that, there's there's resources still around um, around other issues. There's resources that are gonna be taken up around global events. I'm hearing around other things. So Melania is sort of way down on the food chain and. The fact is, I'm also hearing that the money that she takes in from this is going to be, you know, not not that great. Uh, yeah, Eight of Pentacles. That's the money, the, the grifting that's taking place. But it, it feels like the amounts are not going to be enough yet to actually go at her. Two of Pentacles. So this is going to be some time. This is going to be some time. It's almost as if, especially with those the nine and ten of wands that came, it's going to be, I'm getting spirit is saying one thing at a time. Let's continue to deal with 45, you know, and, and everything that has to happen around that with the investigation and, and, um, and the cases, especially the Jack Smith case and the four of pentacles. Yeah, this is number one, two things. Spirit is saying people are wising up and they're going to hold on to their money. There's not going to be some, oh, Melania is doing a charity now online. Let's just all open up our wallets. It ain't happening. She's not going to get um, what she was hoping to get other than, again, their major donors are all, you know, tax deductible, whatever. They're, they're going to give her some money just so it's not a, a total embarrassment. But I don't see, Spirit is saying that there's not going to be some incredible, you know, windfall. Um, and therefore, and that would impact when and if the there was a criminal investigation or she'd be investigated for fraud all right woo all right you all have a great weekend be safe out there remember someone uh some one of you left a comment reminded me of my my words back to me so i'm offering it back to you again let's remember to keep our chins up our shoulders back and relaxed right and breathe deep because it's these October surprises, the elect, like the energy right now is electric. It is electric. But we got this. We got this, y'all. All right? Be good. I'll talk to you real soon. I'm headed out of town. I'll be um, out of town till next Thursday. But I will check in with you all. I'm going to be at uh, Susan Lynn's Connect to Empower conference. So incredibly excited to do that. I hope to see some of you there. And I will, but I will be checking in with you all. Okay? Take good care. We'll talk soon. Bye.